as far as the individual house uh, toilets are concerned it's financed through a combination of national subsidy as we call swachh bharat subsidy of 4000 rupees and on top of it the state provided another 12000 so there is a sufficient subsidy made available for individual toilets when it comes to the public toilets the city was uh, uh, opted for complete public private partnership route there was absolutely no uh, financing from the city government all they have given was uh, access to land and access to lease of particular piece of land and acts uh, and they regulated the tariff uh, in terms of user charges and that's it and service level standards mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. uh, with regard to containment it's totally uh, the private sector as well as the central government subsidy central state government subsidy mm -hmm. as far as the transportation it's again private sector uh, the city is only regulating it with regard to fstp uh, it's uh, it's a combination of uh, because it's the innovation it came as a grant for establishing fstp but operation and maintenance is taken care by the city government okay but the subsequent scaling up is through uh, completely by the city government originally it was funded through a grant process so as habib mentioned um, the tankers were donated by unicef and we were able to provide some marketing support through uh, bill and melinda gates grant so it was a um, a donation type basis to begin the work certainly needed buy in from the city authorities as well so they put in their time and resources but now that it's operating fully in dacca uh, we're providing some additional marketing in order to uh, ramp up in order to replicate the work but um, on an opex basis the entrepreneur is running he's running in profit and also within the city authorities their support they're receiving a lease fee as well so there's there's two different uh, income streams so actually that's actually operating now on a really solid basis